soon ahead. Richard Peacock couldn't have placed the header better. Oh, he's held it up superbly. Rowcastle now slips it through. Peacock might get a second. It's kept out by the legs of the goalkeeper, and Rowcastle again will find his way in. Is there another goal coming up here for Hull City? Peacock's cross, and it's away. And finally, Gary Bennett gets it up towards halfway. Scarborough living scarily. And there's some nice work inside that penalty area there from David Rowcastle. Beckney is certainly posing a lot of problems for the Scarborough defence, and so is Peacock. Rowcastle will get first to this ball, slips it through the legs of Williams. Knocks out the longer ball for Kevin Gage, and Hull are going to have four players at least in the area if the cross is forthcoming. The chance is still there for Joyce to knock one in. And it's deep, and it's Betney, and spectacular try from Chris Betney. He's made a really impressive start to this game, the young lone player from Sheffield United. And when Joyce got that cross over, it was beyond the far post, but acrobatically, Chris Betney hooked it just over the top. using his head well, and there's a dangerous ball here, and Rocky Rowcastle is in, and David Rowcastle marks his debut for Hull City with a second goal. What a lovely moment, even for an England international. He may be in the twilight of his career at 30, he wants to impress during his loan spell from Chelsea, and that's the way to impress. Peacock had headed the ball wide, it was then planted first time Behind the Scarborough back line, Rowcastle got in and finished in a flash, and Hull City lead by two goals to nil. Decent crowd in here today, and they're averaging around 6,000 for home fixtures, which is a considerable improvement. Nice dummy, and it's open the way for Brody. Is this a goal? Wilson has kept it out, and Stephen Brody hands his head. He can't quite believe that. When he first came to the club from Sunderland last season, Brody got a glut of goals, but on this occasion he's into the area and Wilson keeps it out with his, uh, with his hand. Scarborough really do need a break if they're going to get something from the match. On the other hand, they'll be encouraged by that uh, memory of last week's comeback from Torquay. 3 1 down to Holt, they've still got a point. And Beckley again has played it really well. Kevin Gage this time. Straight back to him from Michael Hatton. Peacock's header off the crossbar. Could have been three. And the Scarborough defence in this first half has been pulled apart. And this time it's Kevin Gage. And when the second ball came back to him, he hit it across first time. And Peacock getting a really good header there. He's unlucky not to have his second and holds third. Greaves didn't fall for Robinson's dummy. Plays it down the touchline, but Bettany is considered off by the referee's assistant on the far side of the ground. Snod in. And Mitchell. Now it's Troy Bennett. Square from Robinson. Chance for Snoddy to hit one here. And plays it through instead. Brody and Wilson denies him. Oh, and it's put over by Campbell. And I wonder if Scarborough are going to get better chances than the one they've just squandered. When the ball came back to Ian Snodding, I thought he was going to have a pop at goal. He fed it through to Brody, and Brody is thwarted by Steve Wilson, and then Neil Campbell should have scored and hoisted it high. Campbell's got a nice little top knock through here. Mitchell for Robinson, and this time off the bar. Unlucky Jamie Mitchell. And it's Hollow was suddenly living dangerously there. The ball was bobbling around there, and uh, Jamie Mitchell instinctively put his boot to it, and it lifted it over the top of Wilson, and unfortunately for Scarborough, against the Hull City crossbar. 
bit of head, ken head tennis there involving John Kay, who's now got his foot to the ball. It's not in. So a lovely ball forward, and Robinson will be on to this one. Scarborough have two in the middle. Oh, and he's tripped himself up, I think. He's had the presence of mind to continue, mind you. Now rolls it across, and it's wide from Mitchell. Scarborough are creating chances now aplenty. Well, that was a funny interlude, really, because Liam Robinson got away to be on the end of Snodding's ball, slipped, still had the time to pick himself up, square the ball, and Mitchell hooked it wide. Well, Scarborough had so much of the ball in this half, but they still haven't found a goal for themselves. Snodding to Brody, working hard, knocking it in for Mitchell, oh, and it's a foot wide, and Jamie Mitchell has had quite an impact since he's come on, he got a goal or two last season, and uh, receiving the ball there from Brody, he whipped in the shot, and he's a foot wide, agonisingly so, still a game of chances, there might be one now, Troy Bennett, What's uh, in store from him? He must slip it. Oh, and it was a poor ball. He got plenty of time there. He could have had a shot. And when he rolled it wide, Williams had got up, could do nothing. And now on the break, it's Hull. Oh, what a phase of football here. Royal Castle had to hesitate because Peacock would have been offside. Beckley this time. There's the ball in. And it's a delightful third goal. And it's gone to the substitute, Michael Quigley. What a splendid move from Hull City. They were defending one moment, and appropriately, Rocastle figured in the move. And when he had options, he chose the right one. He played the ball wide. The cross was excellent from Betney, and Quigley merely ran the ball into the net. Hull City 3, Scarborough 0. Yeah, it was a breath of fresh air, really, to be playing first-team football. I know there was a lot of rumours about why is he dropping down to the third division, but as a footballer, you love football. All you want to do is play for football, whatever level you're playing at. And, uh, you know, it was a breath of fresh air to get out there and play for the first team and obviously to get the result.